Hey guys, uh, long time no see. So for those of you who watch me on Instagram and, and follow me on there, know that I started a podcast recently. And it's something that I've been wanting to do for a very long time because I've been getting a lot of information from podcasts, getting really educated. Um, and I really think it's a, it's a new form of education and it's uh, really, really useful. Um, and so I've been wanting to start my own for a very long time. Um, the people that I've met here in Berlin have been really kind and the friends that I, and the people that I surround myself with are some of the best that I have found. Um, and I really enjoy the conversations that we've had over time. And so I decided to start a podcast just to record some of our conversations with some of my own personal thoughts. But today I really wanted to show you the equipment that I use because I did some research before starting my podcast on what kind of equipment should I use or, or how to make it portable and easy to take places uh, and not worry about it. Just eliminate all limitations and just make it portable, make it lightweight, uh, make it easy to record. Bam, bam, let's go. Um, and so I wanted to show you what I use. So this is the cheapest and best way for me to do it. For you, it might be different. I think in reality, the cheapest way to do it is just to use your phone, just to use either headphones um, with a microphone or your microphone and you hear and use something like Anchor um, or just voice memos to record your voice. But I wanted something that I can record um, both of my friends and have good sound quality, but not super expensive. And so today I'm going to show you what I use for my podcasts to um, record them and to produce them. Um, and it's this. So all that you need is these two. Um, and this is this is just these two cases. Um, this small pouch and this little case is all I use for my podcasts. Um, they're really small. They're really portable. And it's everything that I need with some extras um, for good sound quality. And this is not just for podcasts, actually. This is also for good filmmaking. Um, and so investing in some money into this stuff will also get you to make better videos and make you a better filmmaker in general. So um, let me show you what's in here. So let's begin with our most important piece of equipment, which is our audio recorder. You may as well just have this and not have anything else really. So this is a Zoom H1N. It's a portable handy recorder, and I cannot say enough awesome things about it. I really love it that much. It has all the basic things that I need, uh, a line in and a line out for headphones and for lively microphones. And the surface isn't overwhelming. There's enough buttons for everything and not too many. Um, and it's just great. I really, really love it. Now let's move on to accessories, starting with this small tripod. There's not really much to say about it besides the fact that I mainly use it to set up the recorder in a position when I'm going to record a solo podcast. Um, but I'm sure that I will find another use for it in the future because it's small, it's portable, and it's lightweight, and it just adds to the whole setup. Now, these are super important. These are splitters that I use in order to connect two lavalier microphones and two sets of headphones to the Zoom if I want to have someone else on the podcast. They don't work perfectly as you have to make a small adjustment in post, but it's a great and fast solution for the price. Now, onto the lavalier microphones that I use. These are the JK Mic J. Just kidding, not really. Um, kind of an odd name there, but they work really well. I find them through someone who was recommending them on YouTube, and I just love them. I have had no problems with them. Sound quality is perfect, and yeah. Now, getting to the small things that make a big difference. So, these are pop filters for the lavalier microphones. I don't have to say a lot about them. They're just pop filters. And the last thing is an SD card adapter for a micro SD card because the recorder uses a micro SD card and you need this to put the files back onto your computer. And that's the whole setup. That's everything that I need to record a podcast and or to just have good audio quality in general. So now that we have everything in place and we have all of our equipment, how do we actually do this? How do we set this up to record a podcast either by ourselves or with someone else? Let me show you how I do it. Starting off with the most simple thing is if we're going to be doing a solo podcast by ourselves. So I would take the recorder and just screw it onto the tripod, put a pop filter on, and it's ready to go. That simple. Now, if I want to have someone else on the podcast, if you want to have two people, then I'm going to unscrew that. So I just have the recorder because I don't really need the tripod anymore. And if we notice on the right side of the recorder, there's a line in 
and on the left side is a line out. Line out is for the headphones, line in is for lovely microphones. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna plug our little splitter so that we can put plug two lovely microphones into it. And that's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna plug one lovely microphone into one of the into one of the ends and another one into the other end and that's basically it. Now it's pretty much ready to go. Now if you want to take it one step above, then you're going to plug this, which we use for headphones. So if you want to have two pairs of headphones, you can plug them right in and the conversation is a lot more intimate when there's headphones. And the lovely microphones have these little clips, you can clip them on a t-shirt or something. Um, and it's that simple and it's ready to go. Um, there's not too much to tweak. Um, as I said, you plug in the headphones, uh, you adjust your volume levels and you press record and you're ready to go. Now we've reached a point where we have to talk about how much all of this costs. So we're going to start with a recorder. Just a recorder on its own is 90 euro, which is a pretty good deal knowing how good of a sound quality it can record. Then we're going to move on to the accessories. So the accessories are 22 euro and there's even stuff that I didn't include in the video that just are not useful to me, but they do come in the accessories box. Then we have the lavalier microphones, which are 30 euros a piece. And if you have two, of course, are very useful for interviews and just other things that you can do outside of podcasts. We have the adapters of the splitters that are 10 euros a piece and three euros just for the micro SD card adapter, which is nothing. And all of that comes to 195 euro, which is not too much when you know what you're getting, but at the same time, it's not the cheapest thing ever because you can get a lens for your camera for around 200 to 300 euro, or you can get something like this and start a podcast and start getting into solid design and just being interested about sound. A couple of things that I have to mention because they're really important before I finish this off is one, um, this setup will not just get you to make good podcasts and record good sound quality, but also will make you a better filmmaker. So if you experiment with sound design and things like that, it's really gonna dive you into a different world. And second is this setup is not perfect. There are things that are quite weird. For example, the little splitter for the headphones. If you were to plug two pairs of headphones, you would only hear on both headphones from one ear of the sound because you're splitting the lavalier microphones. And so you do, you're you not hearing them from both ears. and so. Also, when you're recording with the lavalier microphones and when you do have that recording in the end, I did mention in the beginning that in post you have to make one small adjustment, which is you have to convert your audio from stereo to mono because when it's stereo, it's left ear and right ear and it's, it's confusing and it's only working and the sound is only working in one ear. So you have to make both channels mono. Um, it's not too complicated. It's very simple to do. Um, I'm sure you'll figure it out. And um, that's everything that I have to mention about this. There's small things that don't work and like a lot of things that do work, but I found this setup perfect for me at this point in time. It's not the cheapest, like I said, but it just works for me personally. And if it doesn't for you, you can use a phone, you can use a different setup, but this is what I found to work for me. And I'm pretty happy with it. I'm pretty happy with it. So that's everything. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I hope you got something from it. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna go shave now. <laughs>